Uh, good morning. My name is Brian Reagan and this, this is my cup of coffee. And I and my cup of coffee and Tyler Jehoshaphat Kelly are here with you this morning. His real name isn't Jehoshaphat, but some of you have heard it now so many times you honestly think his middle name is Jehoshaphat. You say, what is his middle name? <laughs> Ask him at church on Sunday. But I don't live in Lake Butler, Florida at the Lake Butler Church of Christ like you and Tyler appear to. That's true. Tyler and I live at the Lake Butler Church of Christ. Yes. Yes, we do. So, <clears throat> but for everybody else, if you'll send a message via email, yacht, Yahoo, uh, YouTube. There we go. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Well, that sounds yeah. like Yahoo? No, yeah, I YouTube heard. or Facebook. Uh, he will tell you what his secret middle name is. Or you can just call his mother because she knows too. But that would mean you'd know his mother's phone number and that would mean you probably know his real middle name. But on a totally different note, Tyler, read us Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, "Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. The blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. All right. So Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law by being made a curse for us. Now, isn't that interesting? By being made. His cursingness, his curse-edingness, there we go. I like that, double, double suffixes. His curse-edingness. Someone, you know, brother, God's, God's, you know, God, God did this to me, you know, because of blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, he already did it to Jesus. Jesus took all of every curse of man's sin at the cross. Therefore, therefore. Just as it is impossible for this pocket knife to go bird hunting as a 12 gauge, it's even more impossible for God to curse you in Jesus Christ. Now some of you go, what? No, 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 you, you, you don't understand. Uh... No, no, no. I don't have to understand anything. Because I have the... What's this? What do we call this book? Uh, the letter. Okay. No, I mean like the... But I mean the whole document. Oh, and don't Bible. call it the Bible. Uh, the Word of God. The Word of God. And what one thing has God forever settled in heaven, Tyler... What one thing has he exalted even above his name? His word. His word. He forever settled it in heaven. He exalted it even above his name. I heard a dude, and he had a really good sermon, right until he said like two or three things. And I, when I say that, that means they said something biblically wrong. Okay? It doesn't mean that his story was off color or something. I don't care about that. Right? He said... Some people, they treat this word like it's God itself. And the Bible isn't what's important in worship. And I mean, right up till then, I mean, he's like, it's the name of God and honoring the name of God. And I'm thinking, dude, have you, have you read the book? The part where he said he has exalted his word even above his name. God is so tied to his word. That the moment he says in his word that Christ has been made a curse for us and we've been redeemed from the curse of the law, he can't curse you. You can move yourself back into the realm of cursing. You can move yourself away from blessing. And that's not God. You want to go back and play games with the devil, the devil will beat you up, son. He said, but I got the blood of Jesus to protect me. What? Then, then, then you're not operating under a curse, are you? Well, but I made a mistake. Yeah, that's why it says confess, repent, get back on track. 
Why? Because he's faithful and just to forgive you. It doesn't say he's faithful and just to curse you until you get your head on straight permanently. Okay? Other thoughts? No, sir. All right. You're not under a curse if you're in Christ. Oh, and what does Galatians say? How do you get in Christ? Uh, verse 26 and 27. Read it real quick, Tyler. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. If you've been baptized into Christ, you've put on Christ. And if you've been baptized into Christ, you're in Christ by faith in Christ Jesus. So if you haven't been baptized into Jesus Christ, I'm not saying you were baptized into some denominational building. If you haven't been baptized into Jesus Christ, you're still under the curse. So if you need more information on that, shoot us, shoot us a serious uh, email, text, message, whatever, Facebook, YouTube, Lake Butler Church of Christ at gmail.com. We'll help you get located with people who can help you get that taken care of. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good day.